guys, my name is McKenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, Jaeger's upset. Today is Monday, March 1st. I am in my backyard, so sorry for outdoor noises, but it's nice out, so we're going to be outside. And my brother's puppy, Jaeger, is also back here with us, so sorry if you see him running around, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, today, I just wanted to do my year and a half. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I wanted to do my year and a half um, Baja update. So this is my Baja. Quick overview for people who don't know. I'm deaf. This is a hearing aid. It's a bone anchored hearing aid. Uh, I've had it for over a year and a half now. I'm doing this video a little bit late because I am getting over being very, very sick. <laughs> I have multiple other videos on my channel about my Baja, but I just wanted to do a quick update today um, because I've had it for over a year and a half now. And I do have some questions on my uh, like in my comments and things like that, uh, that I wanted to address. So, uh, in my previous video, which I think was a six month update, I don't think I did a one year update, I mentioned that the uh, implant site has still not healed at that point, and it still hasn't. Um, to be honest, I don't think the implant site ever will heal. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it, I'll insert a picture, but uh, they, it's literally a screw drilled into my skull, and, uh, my skin's never gonna fuse to that quite well enough, I don't think, to, like, ever be fully healed, because, especially with long hair, because anytime I brush my hair or anything like that, it, it pulls it away from it a little bit, understandably, and so it's always kind of like, I, like, make sure I crumble off, like, scabs or whatever, like, it never gets infected or anything, um, and if it were, I do have, like, an antibiotic cream, but it's definitely not, it doesn't irritate me, and it doesn't hurt or anything, but it hasn't healed, so that is a con to the hearing aid, um, but it's not worth not getting it over. Um, I had one comment that was really, really long from, uh, a, nope, those are my glasses. I had one really long comment from a guy who had a horrible experience with the Baja, and, uh, his comment was really sad because he, he was just talking about his experience with it. Um, it did seem like it was a long time ago, um, but kind of discouraging everyone in my comment section from getting the Baja, um, and, like, kind of scaring them and it made me feel really bad because I still a year and a half later this device has changed my life I would 100% recommend the surgery to anyone um I this man's experience wasn't great um but I have I've had a wonderful experience someone asked uh recently as well as if I get headaches or anything and I don't get any headaches um, related to my hearing aid at all, or the screw, or the incision site, uh, there's no pain whatsoever, sometimes if it, like, if I brush my hair too hard, and it, like, will bleed, and then that'll get a little infected and sore, but, like, I have a topical cream I apply to that, and it's all good, um, 100,000 percent would still recommend, would definitely say to get, it has changed my life, um, since getting the Baja, I have graduated college with my bachelor's degree in biology, um, my last year of college, I have been able to actually hear classes for the first time since elementary school, and I did not have to teach myself everything, which was awesome to be able to hear lectures. Um, but yeah, I know this was just a quick update, but, uh, I really just wanted to point out that the, the incision site still hasn't healed, um, and I wanted to document that and check in in probably another year or so and see if it has or if anything has changed um so far so good you hear horror stories sometimes of the screws like loosening or the implants falling out or like things like that i haven't had any of that crazy stuff happen knock on wood um i have had some issues with my uh like the the actual computer part not the implant but like the baja itself but that's just because i it's it's not its fault i just drop it and then break it um but so far the kit comes with the like replacement pieces for like the doors and stuff and i have dropped this thing so many times over the past year and a half and 
times when I'm like, okay, it has to be broken that time. And it has still worked every single time so far, knock on wood. So um, if you're worried about it being like super fragile, it's not. The door will break off and I have actually broken one door. Let me just show you. Um, so this is the battery door and I have broken some of these like broken broken. Um, but it comes with some replacement ones and they just snap right on and I'm sure I could order more online if I need them but it's also just like I've dropped it and it's like fallen apart multiple times and it hasn't broken and I've just been able to snap it back on that one time I was just unlucky the way it fell and it broke but I have not had to turn it into like my like warranty or anything like that to get like my act like actually get it replaced um so it's pretty it's pretty solid. I have noticed uh, that this piece, uh, or maybe it's the way it connects in the screw, it used to be a lot tighter and like it did not move at all, where now it will like wiggle a little bit when it's attached to my head, but I think that's just, this is just, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like plastic, so I think it just wears down a little bit. It doesn't affect the sound quality at all. I definitely have some like wear and tear on my Baja from dropping it, but it still worked. And I have another one too. You get two whenever you get this. Um, so as far as that goes, some people were asking about like dropping it or how easily it falls off too. I've had a lot of questions about that. And some people have a magnet one. I have the snap, so keep in mind that difference but mine like it doesn't fall off you can't you can't shake it off um I can't even like I can push on it and pull on it and hit on it it doesn't just like fall off Jaeger <laughs> you sit 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 good boy thank you um so don't have to worry about that I also had a girl ask me about like hairstyles and things like that with it um I have noticed the only thing that I've had any sort of trouble with um, are like braids especially if you do two braids because at least in my situation they had to shave a like big square of hair off where they did the implant a year and a half ago now most of that has grown back there's a little spot that never grew back but who cares um, but there I do have less hair there since the implant takes up space and so my braids are always uneven if you care about that that I guess is a con but it's not worth not hearing you know like it's 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 worth it i i will gladly have to adjust my hairstyles a little bit um to be able to hear uh i do normally brush my hair whenever it's off just so i don't hit it um but yeah i don't i don't think she had a specific question she was just asking if like styling was hard which it's not you just you learn to work around it really easily um but yeah those are the only questions i can think of off the top of my head and I guess that's my little year and a half Baja update. So thanks for joining me outside in the nice weather on this March day. And I'll see you next Friday.